Hello, Aries, Sun, Rising, and Moon. Welcome to your mid-October 2021 tarot reading. This is a general read. This may or may not be your story. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and check out your other planetary placements as they become available. And always remember, roles can be vice versa. So let's start off with <clears throat> general messages, and we'll get into the tarot. We have purification. Courage. And we have stillness. <clears throat> okay, it seems like your theme for the rest of this month is about being quiet, quieting your mind. This is about having that courage to purge negative energy out, negative situations, negative people, whatever your scenario is, and embracing... Sorry, I'm rearranging things. Embracing this purification process. So I feel like this is about getting rid of negativity, negative thought processes. And I am using a new deck that I just got today. I got two new decks. Um, one of them I am doing a live unboxing with. But this one is... The Ancient Italian Tarot. It is a Marseille's deck, a hip deck, and much more colorful, much more vivid imagery. Similar, like, as far as, I think it's, it's even more vivid than the Visconti, which is over here. So, let's see where this is going. Okay, we are starting off with <clears throat> the Four of Swords. And we have the Hanged Man. Oh, and the Magician. This is what the what um, spirit is talking about here. You know, this is about being stuck mentally in a situation and self-sacrificing, maybe even self-sabotaging yourself. When it, the reality is that you have the resources to get yourself out of this, this is laying things on the line, laying your cards on the table. You may have to lay your cards on the table with somebody and say, listen, this has to change. You know, this is invoking change, that purification, having the courage instead of just sitting by and allowing somebody to take advantage of you and manipulate you. Somebody is purposely trying to keep you stuck. And the Four of Swords is also speaking about it. It's stagnation. It's mental stagnation, but it's also taking a break so being still you're being still and allowing somebody to take advantage and i feel this is the spirit is saying enough is enough it's time that you 
take a stand, it's time that you have that courage to stand up to this person. It's time that you cut these ropes free. Don't sacrifice yourself anymore. Don't be the martyr. And this person is kind of laughing, okay? And like, ah, I've got them under control. They are my puppet. They're going to do whatever I want them to do. Aries is going to do what I want them to do, okay? And meanwhile, he's holding his cup up, and I'm getting this image of, aha, I've, I am in total control. And you're sacrificing, and when things go wrong, they like to play the blame game, and you become the martyr, you become the, the scapegoat. And enough is enough. Here we have the strength card. So this is having that inner strength and that courage. This is talking about courage. This is talking about willpower. Okay. This is you standing up to them. Not taking this laying down anymore. Six of cups. So I think that you hang in there. You take the blame. You are the martyr for the sake of keeping peace and harmony. And there is this lack of harmony within yourself. And you've lacked the courage. So you've taken this laying down and spirit is saying, nope, not anymore, we're done. Nine of swords. So this person causes a lot of anxiety within you. This person is all about themselves, hermit. So you keep things to yourself. You keep things within. But I think that you are wising up. You are wising up. Ten of wands. You are not dealing with this anymore. You are dropping the, you are dropping the struggles. You are not going to be blocked anymore. This is a mental blockage. This is not seeing things. I think your eyes are being opened up here and you are taking charge. You are taking control. You are moving forward here. Let's get some clarifications with the Visconti. Okay, tell me about this Four of Swords, please. Tell me more about the Four of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Growth. The Three of Pentacles is talking about the need to expand your horizons and need to get moving. And with the Hangman, we have the Stars. But there is still hope. You are being divinely guided here. And healing. Healing from this. Not taking this blame. Not taking this laying down. Then we have the devil with the magician. This is definitely somebody who is toxic. Somebody who is domineering. You are dealing with a... I, I think even narcissist is being kind. Describing this person that you are dealing with. You know, this is somebody who has you in bondage. Enough is enough. This is breaking out of that bondage. Tell me about the strength card, please. You got the magician again. This is you having that willpower to take action. You taking control back again. You breaking free. Then we have the moon with the six of cups. You know... There is this sense of mis, mis, um, mystery. This is an illusion, is what I'm being told here. The illusion of harmony that really does not exist. That you have been passive in this for the sake of keeping peace. Not wanting to argue. Not wanting to fight. Allowing you to, 
allowing them to put blame on you all the time, allowing them to keep you hostage and keep you bonded to them. There's this very narcissistic type of energy. Even I think it even goes deeper than narcissistic. I mean, this is total toxicity here. Okay. And I get the sense of lying to yourself about this. And the moon card is looking at this one over here, looking at the magician. The magician is back is to the moon. So this is like ignoring the fact, like ignoring things, pretending. Tell me about the nine of swords, please. And the stars is looking at the devil and saying, fuck you. You know, you, ha you have no dominion over me anymore. Four of cups. So the four of cups, again, is this emotional blockages. This is this emotional, in emotional instability is what I get of uh, being stuck emotionally. But, um, and being worried about things on an emotional level. So, so this is the purification, the detox, the breaking free here. And you might even be receiving wise counsel from somebody. Somebody's been talking to you, telling you to get out of this, to break free of this. Okay? There is definitely, it feels like an older person, somebody who's very wise. This could be a spiritual teacher. This could be a, an elder of some sort, a parent, an aunt, an uncle. But this is somebody who's been trying to talk to you and maybe you haven't been listening. They've been trying to shed some light on this to show you what you are truly dealing with. But I think you know, in the rest of October, this is about purifying and purging this energy out. Cleansing, breaking free, following your dreams and not allowing this narcissistic person to hold you back anymore. Okay, but this is what I have for you, Aries. Love you all. Blessed be.